themed um, assignment, and I always wanted to do a comic book with my graphic design class, so this was the perfect opportunity to have that happen. So instead of having to come up with the entire theme for everything, the library came up with the theme, um, helping someone, when we realized that helping someone mattered. So going off of the theme, I was able to tell them everything about paneling, everything about color scheme, everything about characters and layouts, and they did, really did an awesome job. I was really proud of them. Good morning. I'm excited to share a good news with you that Montgomery County Norriston Public Library had a third annual Comic Fest event and Art Comic Contest was part of the Comic Fest which was held on April 7th and the students were asked to participate in the contest and there were seven entries submitted by the Norriston High School Art Department and the entries were judged by the artist, professional artist, and they selected few students who got the prizes. So congratulations and thank you for participation. So I'm going to be listing off the uh, students that submitted the artwork for the uh, comic book, um, Comic Fest. And um, these people who were submitted were Stephanie Sanchez, if she could come on up. Alicia DePaul. Alex K. Conway. Faison Jones. Jose Swastagui. Malakia Nicholas and Ovi Oporiopo. Those students were the ones who submitted comic books for the Comic Book Fest, and they did an awesome job. Thank you very much. And we also have some other artists as well who won a few awards, so I would like to give certificates to those as well. Should I do that first? So the winner of the Comic Fest for 2018 was Alicia DePaul. She did an awesome job. Congratulations. I uh, took inspiration from some TV shows in which they centered around uh, high school kids. And a lot of the time, the characters didn't know about uh, like what was going on in their personal lives or what everybody else was going through. So I tried to uh, have that like perspective from not a bully's uh, standpoint, but someone who isn't a part of someone else's uh, life, like who isn't involved in uh, their life outside of school. They wouldn't know what's going on. So um, I had a character, uh, he didn't try, he didn't purposely pick on another student, but he, another student was lacking in uh, performance on a football team and he didn't understand why. So he uh, got on his case about it. And uh, throughout the comic, he figures out why that's happening. So instead of uh, continuing to uh, berate him for his poor performance, he tries to help him in the end with his problem and yes. to hopefully resolve the entire issue altogether. Certificates. Here you go. And runner-up was Alex K. Conway for his awesome comic book design. The process, the idea of the theme was uh, the first time that I knew helping someone was worth it or meant something. So I wanted the that main idea to come across clearly in the comic. And as I was making it, I kind of decided to take a unique twist in that the comic that I drew would be able to portray that message with no dialogue whatsoever. So... And I t chose a topic that was near and dear to my heart, which is sort of like the idea of online communication, helping people to cope with their issues. And we also have public choice. Was that the one? Public, public choice was also Alicia. So congratulations, you won two awards. I I personally don't feel like my stuff is any is very special or anything. Um, like. Like I said, it's second nature and it's something that I've always done, like drawing, so it just, it really feels good that I, other people liked what I put put out and it, it's, it feels amazing. Thank you. 
I would like to say thank you to all the members in my graphic design class. They did an awesome job. They created some beautiful work, and I'm really proud of what we've done. So congratulations to everyone. I tried to take from uh, some of the cartoony uh, styles of the older cartoons, like uh, like Hanna Barbera cartoons, or uh, there's like some animes. Uh, I tried to make sure their expressions were very clear, so you could tell what they were feeling. It was actually kind of surprising. Uh, I felt like I portrayed the message very well. I just don't think that the artwork was necessarily the best. But I I'm very happy that I won. I'm just kind of surprised. Because I enjoy drawing so much, like this is almost like second nature, like trying to come up with like a concept and then like putting it on paper. It's so much fun and it didn't even, it feels like it all blew by the whole contest and whatnot. So I'm just, I'm just really thankful that I won. It's, it feels good. I was so pleased to find out that we had two winners from our school. I, I realized that it was like the middle schools and the high school, and yes, we're the oldest, but I know there's a ton of really talented middle schoolers out there as well. So I'm still really, really proud that we did an amazing job, not just because we're high school and because we're older, but because we have some talented individuals here.